Hello and welcome again to Stocks Advisor channel. Here at our channel, we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for us by stocks. Today, we will talk about Sesson Bio, uh, traded at Nasdaq, ticker name Sesson. Well, uh, Sesson is growing already a long time, and we see that starting from um, actually mid of June, August, there was a steady growth, and which is for the company. In, in that sense, it's quite stable, and let, we see this trends forming like for example trend T, T1 and also um, what we see now is a faster trend formation or at least an attempt to form it and that started by beginning of this year uh, we can see today also and yesterday and actually previous trading session last three trading sessions this new trend let's call it trend 2 or it's possible that we are about to form a new, let's say, a triangle for more consolidation. Uh, to understand this, let's do a quick analysis here. So how to play and what we can see for mid and long term traders as well. So as always, at our daily charts, we have three moving averages. On the left, you see their legends. These are moving averages 20, 50 and 200, being green, blue and red line correspondingly. So if you look at those, uh, what do we see? Actually, at the moment, we see that moving average rating so it's flattening out and looks like it will go uh, further for kind of a corrective move downwards while moving average 50 might still with the waving go continue going up so and then we will either have a magic cross down or it will be similar to what we also previously saw the moving average 20 will turn and go for another wave because we saw this happening many times just to give you examples uh, one uh, was in September though with going to magic cross down was in mid of november also similar in january so my beginning of the year so now the question is is it continuing or not and what's different different is a little bit the fact that we saw a little bit a deeper correction here but still moving average 20 proved to uh, sorry moving average 50 the blue line proved to be really strong support because also by the time actually it was even double support at the level of two there was uh, another support line formed. So at that moment, uh, three trading sessions ago, uh, let's call this line S1. At this level S1, we had a double support. So the price rebounds. But now the question is, will it continue or not? Because um, usually what happens once you have this pattern, moving average 20 starts to work as a very strong resist line. And you can see these examples also in the previous um, situation, like uh, by end of... December, you see here this moving average 20 really worked and on the uh, as a very strong resist, so it caused price a little bit to decline, and only then we pierced up. The same was observed here. Uh, it's not specific for this stock; it's a general situation, a general observation for growing companies. So for companies whose moving averages are aligned like 20, 50, 200 from top to bottom. So we saw this again in uh, October, and etc. etc. So this is usually the, the classical pattern that we can expect. Of course, still the piercing is possible. We could pierce the price higher, but in general, uh, this positive candle that we see today is more like a bounce from moving average. Uh, 50 and S1 action, but now uh, even if we pierce it slightly due to volatility up to three three dollars, most probably will decline further. So, so most probably will go sub S1 level, and that will be the way to play. That will be the strategy to safely wait and enter for the position. So, uh, that's the anticipated next wave, which you can catch because for the moment it's a bit too late, like two days too late to enter, but um for waiting for s1 s2 level would be just perfect one uh, to enter in it will be also by that time below moving average 50 so it will be really very strong support line with immediate buy at s2 um, s1 and if you would write it here it will be just between 1.8 uh, to 2 so that will be the entry opportunity here and then immediately once we have up to 10 to 15 percent it's taking profit that's also what we advise at our channel take profit in time enjoy it develop the strategy the culture of taking profit enjoying it and not being sorry for a so-called lost 
profit that thinking like oh if i would waited longer i could have made more profit this is usually the grave mistake to think like this so this is for me i uh, will now come back later for for um, further averaging down but uh, strategies for, for but for um, so this is for short term trades of course but for midterm traders the question is what's next in a little bit longer period and then you see what's now happening is more or less like um, either triangle formation or more consolidative move because once you have this piercing of moving average uh, 20 and 50 works as a support it usually means also take into account that moving average 20 will work here as a very strong resist level so most probably depending on volatility tomorrow somewhere here like this we will form the line r1 which will work at least temporarily as a downwards uh, let's say uh, channel or the ceiling so this way t1 r1 will form kind of a triangle and once it is resolved we might have uh, the price going high. The triangle most probably it will be even uh, stronger, so uh, could be forming here uh, rather than T1. So this will be the line uh, R2. So R2 R1 is more, um, let's say, faster triangle. And once this is resolved, we can really wait for, uh, we can expect for some nice opportunities. But still the first entry is a bit lower because uh, R1 T1 is also a stronger triangle and R1 could be pierced a uh, little bit. So it's uh, better to be a bit more safe in the trading and therefore S1 S2 will be to enter. And this opportunity might come most probably in uh, one, two weeks let's say between one to um, two trading sessions, meaning like five, six trading sessions. Uh, further in the future, this opportunity should be coming. And then what's next? Well, if we rebounce, of course, you can take that profit uh, target from 10 to 15%. This would just mean that we go down and bounce back. And then we will see either we will pierce R2 or slide, uh, sorry, R1 slide with it downwards and then go higher. This is further discussion, but for now, that's the trade. And if we continue declining, imagine a negative catalyst will kick in. This also is possible. And uh, then we need to average down lower in that sense. Well, there is no risk in, in it if you do it slowly and cautiously because this is very well um, developed stock historically. And you see there are so many nice levels. Let's first just draw them all and then we'll actually averaging down a strategy. So here, you can see this is the lowest lowest level this is the mid level so these are two two levels we can enter to average down so the first average down still could be as a technical uh, pullback but the second one will be of course if any negative really strong negative catalyst kicks in by right, but that time it will be also very strong because it will be below all three moving averages so usually on these patterns it works very strong bullish and uh, let's write them here those levels so the first and the second. So the first level would be then between 138 to 157. And then the third level would be between 096 to actually 1.2. And uh, people ask sometimes, well, why you think it will go that low? Well, it's not that we think it it's a mitigation of risks because you never know if a bad negative catalyst comes so you need to be prepared and being prepared means that you have fun still to play because our strategy is not based on cut loss but it's based on a little bit longer trade but exiting with the profit so it's a non-linear average down defense strategy uh, we like it more because uh, this is for more tuned for for let's say non-professional traders for those who do some other job but trade for or for having secondary income or just for investing for their money but doing business elsewhere it's not really for those who trade as professionals 15 minute charts every day of course they can take uh, let's say cut losses and re-enter because they need for them time is vicious vicious but for us uh, for those who are more like relaxed traders this is uh, um, better to wait a little bit longer but exactly it's it's time and there it's money versus time so with this being said this is actually the way to trade speaking of non
Averaging down, it's still classical 1, 2, 2 because there is no severe situation could be anticipated. What does it mean? It means that the funds you would like to play here, you can split in five actually, and then you can buy with, with one portion in the first circle, so in the first channel, then with two portions average down again with the second channel. And if price really declines lower, you can again average down with two portions in the third channel. And again, profit taking uh, target is 10 to 15%. So this is the numerical card to play with. If you are more for graphical uh, representation, this is the one you can just make a screenshot of this uh, image and use it as a trading card for a uh, SAS and buyer. With this being said, that's all actually, although correcting itself, but it also opens very nice opportunities here. So good luck with it. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you didn't do so already. And if you're first time watching videos at our channel, also please press the bell button. This way you will not miss any new interesting discussions for US-based stocks.